Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, math practice. Hi, my name is Guy Trenin and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom from TechEdge and today we're talking about math practice. We're shooting this in the summer and we do know that kids lose some of their ability in math over the summer because very few kids actually practice anything in math over the summer. They, kids tend to read, or at least some kids read over the summer, but do very, very little math. So it is important to keep their mind limber and wondering about these things and reminded of all of, of, all of these things they're doing in math. And uh, this time I want to start with uh, two or three options that are really for older students and then uh, talk about what we can do with the younger students because we often talk about the younger students. So the first thing is brilliant.org. Brilliant.org is a fantastic website with lots of examples of problems at a higher level in math and science but we're going to focus on the math. They'll also send you an email on a regular basis reminding you that they're there, that there's a problem for the day and if you'd like to solve it you can go there. This is the problem of the day today. 6-6 six, six to the Six, and you can see that this is a, a quick thinking problem. You do the math, you mark what you think, and you get if it's correct or not. And you uh, also can get an explanation and discussion. So if I want to continue, uh, you can do a discussion. Here's another example. This is an exercise that will allow you to think about the problem. And the idea here is, and you see, it's to not use a calculator so you have to think about the strategy of how do you actually do this effectively and uh, then let's say you submit an answer and I got the answer correct so uh, and 51 percent of people so it gives you a sense of what the public is doing and you can see that these are actually submitted if you look here on the bottom it's actually submitted by different people around the world and if you want to discuss solu solutions you can go and see how other people thought about this and uh, the more formal uh, way to think about this and this is from the person who actually uh, wrote it. So there's kind of an ongoing wiki with different people uh, talking about how do you solve this, how did they solve this, and all of that. So this is great, but you can actually do some more uh, advanced practice. So this is uh, algebra level one, and you can continue to see other problems, or you can actually go back to something that you've started. So I've started a few things in algebra. You can see you've got warm-ups, you've got solving equations. What I love about this is these are are really uh, cool problems. There's a, a sense that there's a public behind it and lots of people are interacting here and you can work on something that you're good at and you just want to get more proficiency or on things that you're not sure about and you want uh, to move forward and it can actually take you through the steps. It is important to register although you can do this without registering. It is important to register because they'll remember where you are and what your next task can be. This is great for high school students I would argue that want to do some work and get better. It's great for middle school students who are intrigued by math, want to play around and want to try some problems and learn some new things. The other uh, place to go online that I think is great, and there's an app for that on uh, different devices, but you can just use your browser on a Chromebook or on another kind of computer. And this is Khan Academy. And Khan Academy has, again, lots of levels all the way from elementary into actually college level uh, work. And all of them have the short videos that walk you through problems. What I love about this is you can also log in, again, the sense of community and questions and answers that help everybody understands the little details. So for example, if you don't know the probability uh, of H, uh, they explain exactly what does it mean. It's the probability of uh, heads. So even if you're not familiar with the notation, lots of questions and answers. And if you register to the site, you can also advance in levels and uh, get more and more skills while the site logs your progress, which is really important. Some school districts are using it. One of the things I've added, which is great, is the transcript, because then if the speaking is not clear or if you uh, or the, the student using it are uh, a little bit hard of hearing or a lot, uh, you can use the transcript and still get the essence and the message from that video. So this is really, really great and you can see that there's a path to that unit. So this is a unit on basic probability and there's a series 
of video, so you can watch the video, and then you can do some of the practice exercises on probability and statistics in a way that allows you to test yourself and to make sure that you're making progress. So this is Khan Academy, great tool. Now switching to my iPad, I want to share a few things, and some of these are things that I have uh, shown before, some of them are not, but uh, the first one that I want to talk about is uh, MathDuel. MathDuel is an app that allows two students to play against each other in their skill, or in competing for skills, so you can see here are exercises and this is just addition but you can change the setting and you can see you can do addition subtraction multiplication and division and you can make it much more complicated so the students can have numbers up to 31 and a uh, two terms or three terms, which makes it harder. You can change the timer, etc. You can actually adjust the settings differently for each one of the students. So they're each working on their own level of problem, despite the fact that they're competing with each other. So they're competing with each other who gets it done first, but the level of problem can be completely different, which means even if you have kids at different levels, they can still play each other and enjoy using MathDo. Great program. Uh, easy to use and uh, kids love uh, the competition aspect and teachers love the fact that we know that they're, com they're actually practicing the things they need to know. Uh, the next one that I want to go to is called Dragon Box and Dragon Box is an early uh, approach to uh, algebra and the idea is to use game mechanics to start explaining the idea of working with equations and solving for the things you don't know. So you can start, and this is chapter one, and you can see that I've done some of it, and we can see, and it walks you just like everything else. It walks you carefully to see the thing you want to discover is what is the box. So for example, if you have two terms that are the same, they take each other out, so that's it. And you have two things that are the same, plus and minus, you can, they cancel each other. And so now we know that the box equals that fish structure. And it also counts how many moves, but it works in the beginning through shapes and the polarity, you saw the dark versus light, which is eventually turns into plus and minus. Then as you move up the levels, it actually goes to symbol based and to uh, the way we're usually doing algebra with X's and Y's and all of that. But you can see how this is the process that helps us understand and, and come to realization of how algebra works. And again, what I love about this over the summer is it it is game-based and therefore kids want to go through the levels. What I would suggest is once in a while to stop them and say, why did you do that? How does that, what does that tell you? What are you doing? Because you want that metacognitive level to make sure that it'll eventually connect back to the ideas of algebra. So today on mobile learning in the classroom, we talked about different apps that you can use over the summer with young kids or with older kids, pre-algebra and beyond to really focus in on new skills or even practice older skills to make sure that they're not losing ability over the summer or if it fits during the year that they're gaining and they're advancing at their own pace. And I'll see you next time on Mobile Learning in the Classroom.